Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. We're talking Harry and Meghan. That's right. We have news on them and I just kind of want to talk about it. GP news to be specific. Um, just had some interesting theories and Jay and I just watched a video on it. So I'm bringing him on to discuss what's going on and we wanted to watch and react to clips of it and just have a conversation with you guys about it. So honk honk everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Jay, say hi to everybody. Hello everybody. This is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch playing video games, but today I'm here with Jen to talk about these people. <laughs> And what am I thinking calling you, Jay? That is not your name. You are Lord Gander. Actually, Lord Sexy Voice Gander. <clears throat> Can you honk at everything? <clears throat> oh. A honk, honk. Now you sound like me with the allergies. <laughs> honk. Yeah. See, I still have the allergies hanging on so I can say, honk, honk. There you go. Guys, we are excited to talk to you today. There really hasn't been... A ton of news coming out of these two for whatever reason they're finally laying low I can't imagine it's so not like them I actually figured last weekend we'd have like a surprise parking lot shoot as we have the last couple weeks but no they've been kind of quiet although Maggie Pooh's birthday is coming up what like next week I think I think it's around August 5th and so um I suspect we will be seeing more out of her around that because she has to play the Look at me. So I feel like we will be seeing more out of these two. What do you think they've been up to? Be very, very quiet. I'm haunting money. Oh, there you go. Uh, that, that's it. They're, 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 they've shut up so they in hopes of everybody forgetting who they are so they can continue to milk people and grift. But I uh, don't think that's going to work. I don't think they ever want or think people will forget who they are. I think they hope that we'll forget what they've done, but I don't think they, they'll they ever... I just think they think too highly of themselves. I don't think they think we'll forget them. Well, yeah, true. I mean, it, it's they're hoping for a, a rebrand or a reboot, possibly, like in movie terms. You know, uh, people didn't like the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, so now we're, we're trying to get back to the... Uh, uh, the the Tobey Maguire one, but wow. but that's that's a different conversation. <laughs> Stop trying to hijack my Harry and Meghan stuff with your nerd shit. No, how about this? It's like in just like that. Loved Sex in the City, hate in just like that. So yeah, same thing. Yeah, maybe they can end that show like Dallas. You oh, know, boy. the whole thing was a dream, and then they'll just yeah. they'll have a different one. And it's like yeah, that didn't happen. There you go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. We're going to just watch this in clips and we'll talk about it as we go because I really want to get your thoughts on this as well. You don't seem to see much of Harry and Meghan together at the moment, do you? No, you don't. They're both doing separate things. Mm. And it's said that Meghan's in a hotel, Harry's in a hotel. So what they're doing with their 16 bathrooms, mm. Montecico, I don't know. Okay, so this is courtesy of GB News. This just came out. Uh, I don't. I guess this will probably go up Thursday. So this came out Wednesday night, and it's of course Dan Wooten talking to Angela Levin. So let's just break this down scene by scene, if you will. So right here, they're suggesting that they are separate. Um, I've heard of him having hotels. I have not heard of her having hotels. I keep hearing these rumblings of a move. I actually have a video. I don't remember which day it goes up, but where I talk a little bit more about that. Um, so definitely look for that. But w yeah, w let's just break down what they're saying here. Perhaps they're taking 16 dumps in the wow. 16 bathrooms. What did she bring home from that farmer's market? Oh. <laughs> but along that line, what was going on when they were in the parking lot? All those parking lot photo shoots. Brown shorts. And, yeah. yeah, brown shorts and substances yes. maybe question mark but i mean yeah i mean we knew about his escape rooms this is the first i'm aware of of her escape rooms if that's what they're implying mm -hmm. um staying in separate hotels that that's that's a good sign right um, right but uh, we're the kids yeah that was my first thought too like are these kids like wards of the state <laughs> like who takes care of them i mean i get oh, no. is the is that 16 bathroom house just for uh, nannies and the kids? They just having 
never ending sleepover poop at all the bathroom uh, party. Uh, so much weirdness. Yeah. Is it possible think... that they're just exploring separate professional options given that no. together they're professional? I mean, she said we're like salt really and work. pepper, we're always together. Well, they're not, you mm. see. I mean, I think that. Um, so something's changed. That's gone, yes. They're only near each other for the near catastrophic car chase. They unite when it's time to play victim, but it is weird when it's time to play supportive spouse. She can't do it. Um, obviously, she wasn't at the coronation, which, fine, good riddance, no problem, <laughs> probably to everybody's delight. But also, when he, think about like earlier this year when he was out promoting his dreadful book, she, you know, she hid out and was nowhere to be seen for a long time. So they don't, yeah, they don't seem like uh, the most supportive of each other, especially right now. Professional, separate professional avenues, yes. Uh, probably not addressing the separate personal potential avenues. That's probably the big motivator here. I mean, obviously they're going to want to have separate prof professional lives if they're not going to stay together. Um Staying in separate hotels while owning a mansion is probably not a good sign of that. But, I mean, as they've shown before, they probably have to, even if they were still totally on the same page. Because when you combine them, they turn into a PR nightmare and box office poison. <laughs> they do not... Uh, they don't endear themselves to the public in any way. They don't bring out the best of each other. Yes. Sure. Yes, they bring out uh, dumpsters and fire. Yes. <laughs> one's the dumpster, one's the fire. And then when you put them together, you get hot trash. Yes. Although I do think they're the two worst people, so I don't know if there's anything good to bring out of either of them regardless. But I totally get what you're saying. I Together, they're not working, so maybe they're trying this separately. And I almost wonder if it's to get people to talk about them to see if they're separating. I just, I wonder that. Yeah, and I think one of the factors that keeps people glued to this whole story is they could have, I mean, they have the platform and the uh, the means to do good. I mean... They, they just don't do it. I mean, I'm not against any of the, well, m most of the talking points, like saying, oh, hey, we should feed hungry people or, or you know, educate children or whatever they're, uh, uh, the Archwell thing's supposed to be doing. But it's not doing shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're just taking money and spending it on themselves. So one hour a week. One hour a week of work. I mean, if you really cared about charity, I mean, you could at least put in two <laughs> or maybe 40 like everybody else. But it's, it's, everything's just so fake. There's, there's, you can't bring out any good from people that don't want to do good. Yeah, you're exactly right. So uh, that's, they can stay quiet all they want, but people won't forget that. Yeah. And uh, I think the, the ship has sailed on any, any more uh, grifting uh, abilities or projects that they may have. Oh, no, I'm going to hard disagree with you there and say, Megan's going to say, hold my beer, because I bet she, I just have this feeling the reason she's a little bit tucking back. I just have this feeling she's working on her book right now. Mark my words. I don't know this for sure. I just have this feeling it will be out sooner than later. I do wonder if it'll come out after they separate, but I feel like now she'll put out one now while they're together and then do another one when they separate. Touche. I did forget about that aspect. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's going to write a book. Yes. Probably more than one. Um, I think that's a good point. She'll probably, that from a yeah. business standpoint, put one out now. Uh -huh. That will probably do okay. And then once they're split, do something totally off the rails. You know, uh, yeah. just blame him, blame, blame him, make stuff up. Uh -huh. Victim, victim, victim. Uh, here you go, money me now, <laughs> top of Amazon. But I think it would be incredibly difficult for him in Africa for three reasons. Mm. One is he was there when he'd known Megan for about, you know, three or four days. They went and spent 10 days under the stars um, uh, in, in Africa. She's not gone back. I mean, in fairness, has he gone back? I don't know, but... 
Yeah, I do think about that. Anybody else wish there were a fly on that wall? I don't mean while they're doing the hippity dippity in the in the middle of Africa. I just mean like I would like to know what kind of bullshit she was feeding him at that time, pretending to be like, you know, low maintenance. Like, I love camping. This is great. Like Angela said, apparently they allegedly they didn't know each other super long before they went to Africa. I think they call that their second date. And so, or maybe the third date, but um, I just would like to know what all bullshit she was feeding him at that point. And he was buying it hook, line, and sinker because, again, see the hippity-dippity story in Africa. Oh, yes. To be a fly on that elephant's ass <laughs> <laughs> out in whatever field they were in. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure she she's super into camping. We saw how, how much of a hiker she is. Yeah. Um, she was in that phase where she was trying to get, she needed uh, the foot in the door. So she's like, I, I'll pretend I like whatever. Oh yeah. Camping. Sure. I'll sleep out here in the mud while silently screaming the whole time. Uh, that's, you know, we, we've seen how many times they've gone back. Uh, I mean, it's possible they've gone back. We, I mean, I can't imagine they, they either of them would go back without oh, making a production out of it. Exactly. And, he calls it his second home. Uh-huh. Then why is he living here? Yeah. <laughs> like, but I guess there's, there's a lot fewer people to grift in Africa. Spotify and Netflix are in America. We got to be here. I saw Megan's terrible behavior in South, well, both of their terrible behavior in South Africa. Uh, reminder, that's where she gave that interview where she's like, not many people have asked how I am. Just, I mean, steps away from a a woman's shelter. It sounds like something like that for people have been through actual terrible things and she tried to make it about herself. So can you imagine they lived there? She, she'd be like, nobody's asking how I am. Holy shit. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I'll until, never forget. Yeah. Until you start talking about it. I was like, Oh yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. yeah let's, uh, I'm going to go stand in front of a burning building and be like, man, it's hot. Yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> ask, ask me about me. Yeah. yeah, why is nobody offering to cool me down or bring me water? I'd sure like a drink of that water. Yeah. <laughs> so I do keep thinking about this Africa thing, and I've brought this up before, but what's he going to do in Africa without her? He won't know where to walk if somebody's not clawing at him and leading him around like this. He'll just walk in circles or walk into a wall or something. And uh, as for her, what do you think she'll be doing while he's in Africa? Don't say the neighbors. Don't say the neighbors. I didn't really think about her having to guide him everywhere. Maybe he's like a NASCAR car and he can only make left turns <laughs> so, or, or right turns, I guess, <laughs> based on the photos. So she's got she's to guide that other side. So, he may, yeah, he may literally just be doing circles the whole time. <laughs> um, but her, on the other hand, I guarantee she will be seeing every divorce attorney and mm in that general Orange County area and see which one salivates the most. Yeah, true. Uh, while, while she's got the chance, I guarantee it. But he loves Africa. It's his second home, he said. Number two is that the, the documentary is supposed to be following his mother where she'd been in Africa. Um, and I think that will make him incredibly mm. sad. He can't cope with that now, even now, so many years later, over 20 years later. So I think to be alone at that time will be very, very difficult mm. for him because he's done nothing without Megan. Megan's controlled everything. Okay, so this was news to me. Did you guys know this, that he was going to, whatever she just said, track Diana's way through Africa? I didn't know I, the project had anything to do with Diana, I had heard it was something to do with wildlife. Maybe I made that up. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that. But then again, I'm not because any chance these two have to tie their name to Diana, they're going to do it. So that I guess in that way, it doesn't shock me. I'm more shocked that Megan's not trying to weasel her way into this thing and get herself on the camera and make it about her. Look at me. So I always want to preface things I say about Diana is like obviously what happened was tragic it, it was a tragedy for the the sons and everything I don't want to make light of that but it is weird how they keep tying themselves to her mm-hmm. it, whether it's her freaking cosplay or him rubbing her cream on his dick oh, <laughs> um Todger. Todger. uh it's not <laughs> um but 
And then, you know, talking about how he can't handle it right now, I mean, obviously that would stir up some emotions, but good Lord, man, it's been however many years, 30, 30 years. Mm -hmm. If if you still can't cope, you need to get some help. Mm -hmm. Uh, Learn how to process that. But I think at the end of the day, it's just another cash grab. You know, it's just like she's the, uh, the trending... I mean, in, in relation to them, that's the most trending search that's positive mm-hmm. that they can latch on to to turn into dollar signs. Um, and the third thing is he's got hanging over himself that um, Netflix has got £40 million pounds that they're holding back to see if he actually mm-hmm. can come up with something is good. That's a huge demand. And also, what's this £40 million pounds thing about? I'm assuming that's not... Well, is that about the Africa thing? Is that the amount that they're saying they've invested in this this new project that's coming out? I need to deep dive this a little bit more. Or is Netflix simply populated and employing nothing but power lifters? That's a lot of pounds to hold up. No, it's if I remember correctly, it's the second half of their contract. their contract, unless I'm confusing Spotify, but I, I believe that's the case. They got so much up front... And they have to produce something that's not garbage to get the uh, the sec- the rest of the money through Netflix. If I if I recall correctly, I believe that's the case. But uh, yeah, I just glanced. It's the initial deal. I think it was rumored to be about a hundred million dollars for five years of content. You know, they've got their documentary. I assume. I mean, that makes sense. They got to produce something else to get the rest of the money, which I believe they're saying is forty million. But come on, Netflix, why are you wasting your money? No wonder they had so much uh, financial trouble, you know, in the past few years. Quit spending the money on stuff like that. I mean, that could go to more seasons of He-Man, or uh, we could get the second season of Auntie Donna. It's not fair. They only got one season and six episodes. We need more. We don't need these people. So the three together, looking back on him and Megan, their life has changed enormously. Yeah, but whose fault is that? They're the idiots that went around trashing both of their families and burned every bridge from friends to people they've worked with, etc. They've shit on people that have helped them along the way. They have not fulfilled their obligations, i.e. Spotify. Like, they sound like terrible people to work with or do anything with. So, of course, their life has changed drastically through their own doing. Actions have consequences? What? <laughs> uh? oh, <wow. laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's all their own doing. They tried. To, they didn't want to put in the, uh, the more than one hour of work a week or, or whatever they had to do for their engagements. Um, and they, they thought they had a way to make an easy, well, or, or Megan probably thought they found a way to make an easy buck and that this gravy train would last forever, but... Sorry to say somebody's eating the biscuit wheels <laughs> and uh, it's not leaving this station now. Um, you know, she treats him like a servant. Mm-hmm. It's not equal. She wants everybody mm-hmm. to be equal. That again, you get the hypocrisy. And he's not equal. He's just there to sort of mm-hmm. run around and do as he's told. Um, and then. The- so you don't think there's equality in their relationship? It's actually she holds the, the of power. Of course she does. Of course. She was on Suits, damn it. <laughs> Characters welcome. <laughs> She wrote the damn soap company. <laughs> yeah, she wrote the soap company, so she solved inequality forever, and she should get constant royalties from that to fill in her suitcase with the number 24 on it. That's right. So I think Angela brings up a good point, and funny side note, I'm actually working on a video separately of some of their hypocrisy, so that's funny that she brings this up, that Megan gives these crazy ass word salad speeches about equality, feminism, all this stuff. And then, uh, yeah, you don't see it in their relationship. That is funny. And then I like that Angela says that, uh, Megan treats Harry like a servant. What would that be like? I can't do her voice. So let's just pretend. Uh, hey, can you get me an Emmy? <laughs> oh yes. Yes. I will go get an Emmy. Oh, Oh, I I, I'm sorry. They, they won't take, they won't, uh, they, I don't have enough money to give them. They won't take the money for it. They said no. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I don't know what you've turned her into, but I'm here for it, and I love it. Yeah. Wow. I, I actually think that probably is a conversation that they've had at home. That's probably not too far off 
from what's really going on. So that's it for the clip. It just kind of ended abruptly, but I thought there were some interesting points there. I find it fascinating that she has kind of gone silent, but I, I suspect any day now she'll take another orchestrated paparazzi walk. I mean, we just saw her trot out Doria, um, you know, what on Prince George's birthday, by the way, Prince George, so cute. Um, so they're not done. She's not done. She'll be back out with her big oversized bag and clinging on to security guard or whatever the hell she's doing, <laughs> taking a nonsense walk in a parking lot or something. I'm sure it's coming for us soon. She can be quiet as she wants, but we all know that <laughs> she being silent but violent is still going to raise a stink. <laughs> and we're, we're waiting on it with her noses pinched, and we will tell you about it. Wow. Oh, you're a poet. You're you're using our wedding vows in this. I'm surprised. I bring nothing but sophistication to my um, contributions to the channel. You have class out the ass is what you're saying. Yes, to fill up 16 bathrooms worth. Wow. Guys, we are going to end it here, but you better believe as more news comes out, we will be talking about it. It was so nice to have Dr. Bad Vibes back on the channel again. Uh, you can definitely check him out. Tell him what you're working on right now, Dr. Bad Vibes. Well, you can find me on YouTube. I am still doing video games. That's what my channel is. I just put us in uh, a Ninja Gaiden video. So if you ever played that for Nintendo and it made you mad, now you can watch the whole thing without having to play it yourself because it'll still make you mad. And some more, some uh, old Street Fighter stuff's coming out as well. Uh, working on some, some different things. And hopefully, um, I'm going to take a little break to work on things but hopefully i'll get back to live streaming on a more regular basis i really want to get that churning out so you can see me on camera whenever i do that just uh, subscribe to me on youtube and twitch which is dr bad vibes and show me them honkers and show me them honkers Honk -honk. show me your honkers and when i stream i'll show you mine wow <laughs> and if you're new here and you're like what the hell is he talking about drunk goose club that just means leave him honks in the comments. Please don't take it further than that. I'm not assaulting anyone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he doesn't discriminate. He'll take honkers from boys, girls, whoever. Um, but uh, no, he's just looking for you to leave honk honk in his comments. That's all he means. He's yeah, just yes. teasing. Yes. L let's, not ex let's not literally expose ourselves yeah. to each other because that would not be polite. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much as always for the lovely comments, the support. We appreciate it so much. We truly hope you have the best day. Check out the merch. We got Drunk Goose Club. Uh, make it make sense. Recollections may vary. Check all that out. And check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can find bonus episodes, deep dives. Like sometimes I do like carry over from the main channel. If there's something I really wanted to say, but was worried about saying on YouTube, I'll save it for Patreon. So you can find extra content over there. Thank you to everybody who's joined. We appreciate you so much. You guys are the best and I will talk to you very soon. Hope you all have the best day. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.